So how are mountains created? Well this does depend upon the mountain or the mountain range, but there are some relatively easy identifiable types. Firstly we have mountain ranges like the Himalayas, which are one of the youngest mountain ranges in the world. As a result it has some of the highest peaks, so they haven't yet had time to be eroded down. The mountains are formed by a collision between the Indian and Eurasian plates. As India pushes northwards, it bumps into Tibet, and the mountains are formed in a crumpling effect, similar to like when a car is crashing into a wall. As the car engine absorbs the impact, the bonnet buckles upwards, which results in the land folding and thrusting upwards. Now, since India is still driving northwards, the crumpling is still going on, which is why the region today is a major earthquake zone. Next we have volcanoes, which can be single isolated peaks or part of an active plate boundary and so stretch for hundreds of miles. Or in the case of Hawaii, it can be a chain of volcanoes linked to a single point on the Earth's crust. Volcanoes in this case are fed from magma underneath the Pacific Ocean in the Athenosphere, which is close to the surface under Hawaii and so it forms a hot spot from which it builds a volcano. However, the seafloor moves so does the point at which a new volcano breaks the surface. In this way, new islands are formed and grow, but after a time they weather away and finally disappear beneath the waves. And you have a constantly moving chain of islands at different heights. And one of the m more unusual types of mountain is called Mesa. For instance, Table Mountain, which seems to stand alone in the surroundings and have relatively flat tops to them. These are formed by erosion, where the mountains formed a harder type of rock than the surrounding region. In the case of Table Mountain, the mountains formed of a type of hard quartzy sandstone, which is far more resistant to erosion than the surrounding rocks were. Along with these, you can get fault block mountains, where different parts of this earth are lifted upwards by tectonic action. You can get dome mountains, where the magma pushes up from below the earth's surface never quite breaks through to the surface to form a volcano. So next time you're looking at a mountain, see if you can tell which type it actually is.